Got some great stuff to give away, we and do. we got a lot of we got a lot of big stuff. And um, yeah, what's that on your shoulder? I have a lot of little stuff too. This what's on your shoulder? It's, it's a gross and scaring me, buddy. It's a shoulder <laughs> buddy, which we've shown you before. But there's something new with shoulder buddies. They have books. This is the shoulder buddy book and buddy combo. So you can either get it with uh, I think this is Biffle. So you can get a book with Biffle, or you can get a book with Breezy. Those are their names. Is this an origin story? Um, I guess you could call it that, yes. Would you like to uh, flip through some of the pages? Oh, sure. It comes with a little smarts card because the shoulder buddies are all about uh, introducing children Actually, to it is kind of life lessons and smarts. Yeah. It's all about these shoulder buddies technically becoming shoulder buddies, going to school and learning their smarts. And they help each other along the way because they're so nice. Wow. Yeah. It's for ages four and up, and it's ten ninety nine. And who makes this? Uh, the Bridge Direct. The Bridge Direct. So um, it's it's actually kind of cute. And, and show them the disc because that's yes. how it works. Of course, with all shoulder buddies, it comes with a magnetic coin that you place under your shirt sleeve. And then the shoulder buddy goes on top. And the magnetic connection keeps them together. So you can walk around and wear these guys, take them to school, wherever you want to go. I, you know what? I, I hate to say it, but I, I do think they're cute. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do think they're cute. I do think they're cute, and the, like in the trolls from the sixties, yeah, the 60s, they, yeah, they have that the sort troll of hair. idea. And I, I actually hear a rumor that trolls are coming back, so oh. stay tuned. So, so we got a lot okay. of big stuff here. We do, we do, we do, we do. What are we talking about? All right, let's start with the sit and munch storage bench from Fisher Price. Sitch, like munch, like, <laughs> munch like that. No, much. it's not it's edible. A, it's a big teether. Yeah. Um, as the way it is now, it's a bench. All right, it's for uh, ages three and up. It can seat two people, but. Oh, oh when we pull out these uh, little things over here, can you pull out that one? Gotta pull it out all the way. Then you just push that forward, pop them back and in place, and now it's an activity table. That is really, really cute. Oh, it's got a bin. It's underneath. got a storage bin. Underneath so you can put storage. wet things in here too, and they would it would dry out. So you, sure. You could put wet, you could like a sandwich. You could leave it there for like a week or so. Ew. Ew. Okay, this is really cool. Super this is cute, big, yeah. And super sturdy too. Now this is, is like for little kids, but I think that actually I can actually sit on it without, without killing myself. So <laughs> I'm doing a gym. I'm you. doing a gym. Jim's not here. So <laughs> if I could do this, you gotta. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, if it's, I could, if I could do this, believe me, any child, yes, <laughs> you know, can do this. Sturdy so, for it's actually pretty, you know, it's actually not so bad. So maybe I'll do <laughs> the rest of the show of here. It's a lot there. of leg room yeah. under here, so it's actually like not so comfortable. So what's next? Um, okay, well that's about fifty-six dollars. Now I'd like you to see if you can go down the slide. Chris. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> this is there the, are limits even to me. <laughs> this is also from Fisher Price. It's the two-in-one slide to rocker. So it's a slide right now, nice uh, chunky handles for kids to hold on to, a gentle slope slide, and so then nice. a couple <laughs> steps to turn it into a rocker. I've got to pull these off and push this down. Come off? Nope, got to pull them down. Pull them down. Like that. Oh, I see. It's okay. actually pretty intuitive though. It's, it's, oh yeah, you, it's you, very easy to do. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over and push this. No up. way! Oh my gosh! That's so cool! And it's a rocker. That's Super adorable. Super easy for ages one and a half and up. And it's about $56 as well. So great, two great two-in-one items oh, from Fisher Price. I think this is really great. I know, right? Great. But there's no storage in this, right? There is no storage, unfortunately. Oh well. Oh, you well. can't store things as you ride. What's this for? Well, that um, pops out when it's in slide, but when it's in rocker, it pops back in. Actually, oh. it snaps. There you go. Oh, hey. there you go. You could like you could like have your little brother ride on that, on hold on to your shoulders. He or like that. might keep it from rocking, depending on how oh, yeah. heavy he weighs. Yeah, well, I didn't take <laughs> physics, so there you go. But you know, try it with the baby. 
I don't know. That's Ooh. this is cute. Oh, it's pretty rocky. It's pretty it rocky. Is, it is. It's, it's cute. Rocky. rocky as in as in it rocks right well. As it rock as in it rocks well. Yeah. So I knew what you meant. We can we can we can take liberties with the language because <laughs> we're writers. Okay. So, and we got another All slide. Right, we got another slide. This is the uh, Little Tykes first slide from MGA, also for ages one and a half and up. Um, it's basically, it is what it is. It's a slide. It's uh, a little bit bigger than the one we just showed you. Indoor, and, outdoor? Uh, yes. So you could do it indoor, sorry. Nice. Uh, again, this is really sturdy also. And it does fold up, actually, so it uh, becomes a little bit thinner for storage. Right, so what you do is you snap up, and I, I don't think we can do it here because it takes take us too long, but you yeah. snap you snap off the legs and they snap into the bottom and yes. then you can just stick it away. It, it, uh, you can actually see the review oh, online. Who did, did, did Maria? Maria did, Maria did, Maria did, did the review. review. So <laughs> check out Maria's review and you'll see her actually yes. operating this. And it, it actually yes. is really kind of cool. I yes. like this. I like this. The, uh, look. Uh, <laughs> this, this might be a little bit easier for us to go out, for us to go down. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna doing try. it. I'm, I'm, you know, okay. Uh, that's about thirty four ninety nine. Okay. Okay. So bringing in another Fisher Price item. Okay, this is pink. It is pink. It also comes in green. FYI, with a I think a frog on it. This has a bunny. Uh, this is the Stroll to Ride trike for ages. It's got a lot of buttons and stuff. <laughs> for ages 10 months <laughs> and up. I know, there's a lot going on here. Your safety harness, it starts off as a way for, you know, young kids to be pushed around by mom or dad. This is a nice little parent push handle with a storage bag. Which lasts Lots until they're 18, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but then as your child gets older, the pieces start coming off. So that it does become a tricycle that your child can ride themselves. So you can see there are oh, pedals wait, down that's here at the so bottom. Cool. Yeah, so this So ultimately handle, the handle the handle come comes off, off. But you've still got but you still this got piece the piece comes off as well. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to, to do it without We show it in our review though. We do right? show it in the review. Go yes. see our review online. I snapped you can it on see. really hard before we started this. Yeah, you see, <laughs> you can see it in our review. So this part <laughs> comes off and then it's a regular tricycle. Exactly, exactly. So and and the nice thing about this, here's another great thing about this, is that even when it's transferred into a tricycle, mom and dad can still have the handle in the back, which is really sure. important if you're out on yeah. the sidewalk and your your kids say, I'm I'm lighting out for the end of this subdivision. For little kids, it's really great, especially if they get tired pedaling. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's great. It's really, really versatile. How much is this? This is about $140. Okay. So yeah, it's very cute, very uh, soft and padded. The seat is uh, for your little ones. What's this? Um, probably, I don't know. Is that know. a butterfly like a decoration? Butterfly wings, yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. cute decoration. It's, it's, Sunshade to keep your kids... Yeah, and really important. I mean, yeah. come on. Like, let's do yeah. the sunblock. Can we just do the sunblock from birth on? Because really, yeah. I'm, I'm 110 and I've been wearing... I've been wearing sunblock for, for all the time. So, okay. So, how okay. you stay so young. It's how I stay so oh, young ish. Yes. So, so we're gonna write okay. That over, so, and then let's, we're gonna, I'm going to get rid of this table. We've got another table to bring in. Move around. And be careful because we have a cord attached to that. Uh oh. So, that table might get in the way. Watch out for the coffee. Ah! Ah! Coffee is more important. The coffee is more important because <laughs> that's how I'm seeming, I'm seeming awake. Okay. Okay. Let me grab this. But more. Oh. All right, we have two lovely rocking chairs. But I only see one. Kids only. They, they stack. stack. Okay, so one is, what is this, Cars, and one is Disney Princess. And, and Jim are... gets in the Cars one. You can Jim see in the review. Jim does get in the Cars one. Now, these are really reasonable, right? They're not expensive. They're Correct. $13, $13 each. $13. Bucks, really sturdy, just basic, nice rocker for a little yeah. kid. They've got the... Uh, the in-molded or the inlaid design, yes, so it's not gonna, to you know, you can leave it outside and it's not gonna get uh, messed up. Yeah. We've got the princesses and we've got cars. Yeah, um, for ages three and up, and because Jim can fit in them, we know that they do hold 100 pounds at least, <laughs> so. Is that what he's wearing, is that what he's wearing today? That is what he says, so. Oh man, he scares me. Ah, <laughs> uh, but we love him. Okay, so that's basic, basic stuff. You know, kids yes. only does a lot of this great basic stuff. So really, pretty much anywhere you go. And the other thing is, stack back up again. You yep. can stack them up. So if you have them in a, in a family room and you want to stack them up to store them, that's yeah. great. Or just move them around like this. Okay. Perfect. Okay. What is this thing? This is the Mamaru from Four Moms. It looks like it looks like the bridge from the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> it is very high tech. Um, let's turn it on. Let's see if I can get the, the volume up a little bit. Oh, turn the volume all the way up. Let's turn the music over here. Okay. So it is basically kind of a uh, an infant seat, bouncy seat, 
uh, in one. You put your child in here. It's just for really you put your child in here. <laughs> oh, it up. okay. <laughs> With a safety harness, of course, and it has five different speeds. Let's see if I can make this go. Jim was a able tree to swing. Oh, oh, now it's, it's a tree swing. See how it moves? Five different moves. I have them written down so I can tell you what they are. Car ride, kangaroo, tree swing, which is what this is, rockabye, and ocean wave. And they're actually, for each motion, then there are additional five speeds for each one. So you wow. can make this go faster if you wanted to. Or <laughs> slower. Depending on what your child is. Speaking as a kid who was car sick from the get go <laughs> and still has a pro. Um, you... No. <laughs> No, uh, but I, I like it though. I like it. Yeah, it's, you it's, can also. Uh, this doesn't run on batteries, so you just plug it's, it. It's the got wall. A, a 12 volt adapter here. Right. You can see we plugged it in. Right. So you have to keep it relatively close to the wall. And you can also plug in an MP3 player, so you can play music. This does have uh, its own built-in nature sound to play. But if you want your child to listen, ah, ah, you can listen like Metallica <laughs> as they're writing in this, then you can totally do that. Uh, there's also a little. Right. A little uh, guns mobile and beans. that, that guns moves and around reason. when you push it, and these soft balls come out. One side is colorful, and one side is black and white for that visual contrast. And this is not cheap, right? It is not cheap. It is almost two hundred dollars. Right. Um, and there are different additional accessories, of course, that you can purchase with this. You can also purchase a different uh, padded seat if you prefer a different color. There are lots of different varieties of those padded seats. Now, the, this also, it's, you can see it's got a zipper here because yes. you can zip this out and throw it in the wash, yes, right? Yeah, it so it, it's great. One of my, my favorite accessory that comes with this is the, is the infant sippy cup Dramamine. <laughs> <laughs> motion sickness. I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that. Okay, so let's swing into giving away some stuff. All right. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh -oh. Yeah, that was a joke, that. right? Huh? We got a Mega Block Skylanders Trigger Happy Battle Portal. These okay. are cute. And then this is and something I, we can't throw this one. Giant. Big giant thing. This is the all around easel for two from step two. Which we love. This is an amazing toy. It's got lots of creativity built into it. Uh, it's, it's really super sturdy. It's, it's plastic molded just like the other stuff we were showing you. Um, lots of stuff for kids to play with. So it's a great, great activity for summertime. So. All right. So, so when we come back. In wait, just wait, a minute. Wait, we tell them how to win. Chris, oh, right. Chris. We're showing them but this amazing thing. I forget to tell people how to win. I'm, oh. I'm mesmerized by this thing. <laughs> That's, going, right. Eh. That's right. Go to timetoplaymag.com. They, they, they do too okay. want to win. Go to timetoplaymag.com and click on the play date where you'll find the rules to enter. It is free to enter and you have until Wednesday, midnight Eastern time, March 27th. Now we can go to the next segment. Now we can go to the next segment because we're going to play some games. Yay! And since Jim's not here, I have a chance oh, of winning. God. For real. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Oh, yay! Oh, this is kind of cute. I did a lip sync version to this at Z-Splash. Let's Hi, we're back. We're back because we do what we change all this over and we get silly. So we've oh, yeah. got a bunch of games. We Yay! got a bunch of games to it's play. It's been so long it's, since we've played games. It has been, and you know, but we it's play getting games every day. No, we, well, that's on the play day. On the play day, jeez. Um, okay. But you know, we're gonna have some rainy days. Yes. As, as spring comes That's along, right. and so you want to have some some new choices for games. So so you brought your hat box. So you're gonna wear a hat. <laughs> this is not a hat box, but there are things inside of it. Okay. It is a game called Touchy Feely, and it's from Marvel's Brain Workshop. And basically, is there brain a... inside it? No. <laughs> well, there could be. I don't know. Could you take a card? Okay. And that card tells you an object. That Do you I must show it to then... you? You can show it. Yes. I, you can show you... it to everyone. Okay. And then we put, we start the timer, and you have to reach in here and feel the different objects that are inside, and see if you can pick out that object. Okay. So you have until. Was that the right one? Goose ball. Yay! Wow. That was. That was quick. You are amazing. I am simply amazing. Right? <laughs> but this is this is actually kind of cute. It is cute, and what's also fun is that you can make up your own cards and add your own items. <gasps> From your house in here. Bed bugs, you know, exactly. and things like that. Old cheese. Exactly. <laughs> it's a less disgusting version of Ned's head. 
Right, it's a less discussing uh-huh. version of, of what's inside Ned's head. But you know what? This is really cool because it, it does it does sort of get kids sensory visual yes. in a lot of different ways, and that's why it comes from Marvel's The Brain Store. They do all this stuff that, that stimulates different different things. They're a great site, actually, if you, yeah. if you want to check them out at some point. So, yeah. Um, that's cute. It is very cute. It's so the, about... $40 for ages five And you know what? It's, it's not like there's just the, the thing in here. There's a there's actually, we can open it up and show you. Just, we can open it up slightly. We can open it up slightly because you have to put everything back in. So. I mean, there are tons of cards here. See, so I don't know if you An can Eiffel see Tower, in there. But there's a whole bunch of stuff Tower in there. You can't Pisa. see it. Okay. You've got buildings, you've got a, a race car, a starfish, a tennis ball. Lots of different objects. We've got dice. And again, it's oh, look, we got a rat. We do have something gross. I saw a rat in the sewer last night. Now coming out of the Why sewer. Why don't you see a rat in the sewer? I know. It's a sewer. But anyhow, so. It's a big dice. The die. The big, it's a big die. Die, die, die. die, die. And, you with, <laughs> and you can have all kinds of open-ended play with this game, too, evidently. Go ahead. Put your, Boom. Put your stuff back in there. We'll put your hat box over here. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So... This is a Tooth Fairy <laughs> game. How do the we The Magic our... Tooth Fairy. The Magic Tooth, magic tooth Fairy. Now, this isn't licensed or anything. This isn't any no. specific Tooth Fairy. This is the Tooth Fairy. Yes. Do you think she's going to be coming after these people for the rights <laughs> to it? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. So So you get your mouth. Everybody has four pe- four teeth in their mouth that you can remove. They easily, <laughs> they easily <laughs> pop out and pop back in, but you start with four teeth, and then you just take turns spinning, get a bit okay. of spin, and then you move around the board. There's only one uh, moving piece. You got one. So I move here. Oh, oh you so lose I a lose tooth. a tooth, but that's okay. Okay, because I lose a tooth, and if I end up going to the go to bed spot, then this is this is really fun. I get to put my tooth on the bed. And then I slide the pillow, and the tooth fairy left me a coin. That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> it's magic. That's pretty cute. Come on, that it is, is that is pretty it's cute. It's so cute. So I keep the coin. Uh, you're playing once you have all four of your teeth given to the tooth fairy, then you win. But there are there are things where you might land on a space and you have to put a tooth back in, or you have to take a tooth that hasn't been given to the tooth fairy and you need to do something else with it so that it doesn't get to the tooth fairy. Well, so, yeah. What could you possibly do with a tooth that doesn't get to the tooth fairy? I don't know. Oh, so well, it looks like if you forgot to brush, you, yes, forgetting, forget, to, forgetting, brush forgetting to brush is, is, bad. is a bad, bad thing. Forgetting to brush. Is now, bad. who makes this and what does it cost? This is Goliath Games. It's for ages four and up, and it's eighteen dollars. You know what? They do a lot of really great games at Goliath, but but how's the magic work? So. I will show you. Okay, so don't ruin it. Oh, well, kids, avert your eyes. Really? Parents need to Spoiler do alert. This. Really, spoiler. the instructions say <laughs> parents need to do this out of the sight of your children so you don't spoil the magic. So inside here is where you put all your coins. Right. Okay. And so then whenever this goes down, a, a oh, it's, I guess it doesn't work when it's, ha, ha, ha. Actually, but there's a, that's because this is in the way. So this all comes apart. So that's how you get the teeth back out. Okay. But mom and dad would set it up before mom you start to play. Exactly. And then it's really great. And so when you've lost your four teeth, who wins? The, the first person? The first person to lose their four teeth and get their coins. Um, okay. Super cute. Okay, that is. Cute. I like it. Okay, this is one that this actually the, the review of this online uh, at timetoplaymag.com is a lot of fun. You and yes. Jim, you and Jim played this. Jim this is called awesome. Tribbit, and it's it's a great uh, sorting game, set spotting game. Really great. Now this is this looks like fun, but it's also good yes. pre math skills. So it's a great game to play with kids. That's fun and has really important skills. So let's go through how we play. Okay, so you take that stack, and I take this stack. Did you stack the deck? Uh, no. Did you stack the stack? Oh, stack I stack. stack. Okay. So we each have 16 Trimit. cards. You're Trimit. only going to be using oh, 15 deal. of them. One of them is going to be left over. And then we're I'm going to eat it? What are we making? Five sets of three. Okay. And then, yeah, then you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so do, okay. So, so here's the back of the box if you want to get a shot of what some of the examples would look like. You've got guys all wearing vests, all wearing yellow shirts, all wearing hats, uh, all having mustaches, or all, or then you have extras to do whatever you want. So... Oh, you're already starting, Pooh. Well, no, I, I didn't know if I was supposed to. I thought you were going to explain, okay. and I would... Okay. Why don't you do You don't it? have to have them all set up first, though. Oh, I mean, why don't you do it so the camera can see what you're doing? Oh, but that's so much harder! <laughs> okay, then you so, have to do it upside down. See, I spent so much time in detention, I got really good at reading upside down. <laughs> why is he doing... And you can't repeat, uh, you can't repeat sets, just FYI. 
Okay. Well, well, well wait. We, I've got my set. What am I looking for now? You have to Matches. match. You have to match them up. So like you're looking for all guy, three guys wearing vests. Three and do, where do I take them? Shirts. Do I take them off? You move the... them around. No, you have to move them around so that they're set up so that it looks like this on the, on the table. Oh, but there's going to be one left over. One right? is going to be left over. That is correct. And can I move them any way I want to? Yes. Okay, so I do that. And you'll probably have to move around do again. Do that. Because you'll find that you'll have extras left over. Because these two I know I've got okay. left over. Okay, a yellow so. shirt and a yellow shirt. Keith also And, and is this a race shirt. game? Is it the person the, who the wins? the person who does it first. But I've only got one. Or you're five round. and three is not set up right. I'm doing it my own way, okay? <laughs> Bow tie. <laughs> Bow tie. But, but wait. I want to do but see, I've got. I've only got. Okay, so here's my question. I've only yeah. got two guys with canes. What do I do with them? You have to re keep Find rearranging. Match the shirts. Oh. So if, if you're like, oh, well, I have everybody else, but then I have these extra guys, not the then you gotta, you gotta oh, rearrange so everything. Oh, so I could do three guys with glasses then. Yes. Ah, so that's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. And and we have this much time to do it. Yes. Oh yeah, we should have started that. Right. We should have. Sorry. That's pretty cool. And so how do you how do you win the person who gets the most sets? When you get your set. You, when you finish it, I always and if go for correct, how, how do you win? Then you get some of these tokens. Ooh. Are they pretty? Ooh. Pretty tokens. Pretty. You <laughs> get for, I think it's for, for each one you that you get. You can get the cards right. For each one that you get, um, you get tokens, I believe. But even if you are not the first player, you still get a chance to try to continue finishing. And however many that you have that are correct, you can get to. Them. But but then I would have to tell you you could you could say to me, well, Chris, I see I see those there. What do they all? You've got one with a hat, one with a cane, and one with a tie. And I go, yes, but Lori, they all have yellow shirts. Is that how that works? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna say that you won because I. I won. Yep. I won. Yeah, but we get three with hats. <laughs> I know. Okay, this is actually really cool. Yeah. This is actually a really cool game in terms of in terms of uh, visual discrimination and all yes. types of things and and timing and you know I always love the pressure of timing. So and also that you have to resort that it might what seems yes. really obvious that like the hats might seem obvious but you only have two guys with hats. Yeah. So then you have to figure out okay what's the, like like all yep. of this. Oh and it all fits together in that. Who I makes know. us mindwares? Yes, mindware. Twenty five dollars for ages eight and up. Okay, so now now we've got some more games. We took some more games. That's a hard game. My brain's tired now. My brain's tired. Ooh, I see shiny things. Very shiny I things. I see shiny things. So these are all games from Hasbro that they have taken and kind of given new twists to, if you will. We're going to start with the World Series of Yahtzee. Yahtzee! Yay! Which is actually electronic. No way. So I'm going to try way. to turn this on now that we've got it. Yahtzee! There we go. Yahtzee! Yahtzee! So basically what you're trying to do, it's a, a rolling dice game. I'm going to move the box out of the way. But we all way. play together at the same time, right? We all right? play together, yeah. So what what color dice set do you want? There are four different dice sets. I, I think I'll do black and red. Okay, I'm going to do know, red that's, and that's, white. So this is for two to four players. Yellow. We have our cards all set up here. And basically you're just con continuing to roll, all right, until you have dice that match one of these cards. And when you do, then you press, I guess you would be this guy, I would be this guy, then you press your uh, button, and then the other players have a certain amount of time to continue trying to roll. Does that make sense? Oh, to get one of those things. Okay, yes. so let's so, go. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, off Nicely the table. Off, the, off the table. Uh, I don't, oh, see, I have to look at what we're Okay, I don't have for. anything there. Okay, well, I guess I can say that. Okay. Give you a little cup. Oh, five, five. They don't give you cups in this one. Oh, man. Okay. Wait. Uh, oh, two, I have three, three, small four, straight. Five. Oh. I have two, three, four, five. Take oh, well, I do two. So that's me. Woo! So who wins? Well, I guess you get more points because you. Because uh, I buzz in first. Okay, so this is. So what the difference on this is that with Yahtzee, it's like everybody's playing all at the same time. Yes. So instead of. This could be. With, with four people around the table, this could be like real dice mayhem. Correct. So it's it's really okay. So it's a little bit it's a little bit different than than you playing it. So it's again it gets yeah. everybody gets yeah. everybody involved at once. at once. Yeah. And how much is this? Uh, it is eighteen dollars. Oh, that's for not ages bad. Eight and up. That's not bad. And then do yeah. I take the card when so I get it? You do take the card. Yes, you'll oh, take the card. And then you replace I'll the card. I'll take the card. If here. you don't buzz in, you don't get to take a card. 
Um, and basically, there are points on the cards. Right. Just these are right? these are the same points you would score in a regular game of Yahtzee. Sure. So yeah. So at the so, end of the day, you know, if I get as many points as I can, that's great. Yeah. The player with the most points wins. Oh, that's, that's generally the way it works. Except, except when I you're would, playing with Jim. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jim wins. Okay, I'm moving these away. Okay, excellent. So I can actually. Normally, take you would put you. this in the box and clean it up nicely. Oh, well, I can take but it from we're you. We're not going to do too. that. We're going to make a mess. We'll do it later. Because that's what we do. We'll, we'll clean up later. Okay, what's next? Next is Bejeweled, which you might know if you've played the online game. I like the online game. I know, game. so do I. It's on my phone. Or on your phone, your computer, or wherever you play it. It's tiny okay. on the phone, though. It's tiny okay. on the phone. So the first player, what you're basically trying to do is just like in the game, you're trying to find sets of either three, four, or five. So the same colors. So you've got pretty greens, purples, you know. So And you can do it by switching two of them, by switching two places. So, like, I could do this. Boom. A set of three. So I would take that off, and since it's green, then I would get to take a green token. And a set of three only gets you one token. Four gets you two, and five gets you three. So I'm gonna keep that here, and I put these back. And, uh, and, then, you, and then you reload the game? Yep. Doop -de -doop -de -doop, just like that. Okay. So then it's your turn. She gave you one. I know. Do you what? see it? What? Well, there's, gave you one. there's this one. Oh, well, you could do that too. I could do that. Right? Three. Three. Yeah, so I then you take, take this out, and I give you a white token. And then I just put three more in. Now those Ooh. slide down, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, so it's just like the game. Yeah, it's just like the game. And they're also pretty sparkly ones that give you extra um, points. I like these. They're pretty looking. They are pretty. <laughs> it's like a nice ring. What? It's, a, it's quite the dinner ring. Costume it's quite the jewelry. dinner ring. Now, you can only move them horizontally and vertically, just like you can't move them diagonally, right? It's just like in the game. You have to move them just like they move in the game. This is okay. What do you think? I mean, I guess it's it's fun because you're playing with someone else. If you want to make Bejeweled a little more social. Um, right. It would turn it. You know. It's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> it, it is very pretty. It's nice yes. to look at. It's nice it's to look nice at. Set. So, cool. No, what? A, okay. That's good. I mean, it's called Bejeweled. So, I mean, yeah. there, there you go. I mean, I think it's, a, it's, again, if you really like the game, you may want to try it. The home version. Sure. As we used to call them. Here, take the instructions. Take the instructions. because When you have three sets of colored tokens, that's how you win. FYI, because I know you like... I like to, to know, know how, how to win. win. Well, everybody like everybody likes to know how to win. We don't want any of this cooperative <laughs> gaming stuff. People want to win. No uh, working together. No, we work together, but not when you play games. When we play games, you compete. Okay. All right, these are your cards. That's your money. This is Monopoly Hotels. Okay. Uh, for ages 8 and up, it's about $15. So we each get our hotel bases and our hotel Here, here's, pieces. Here's the That's cute packaging. box. I know, right? Cute we box. Start it looks with... like a hotel. Oh, uh, does it? Really? It looks like a hotel, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it looks like a hotel. Nice pool on the roof. Yeah, nice pool on the roof. So we... Build your hotel fast, first to the top wins. How do I win? You have to get to the, the top. You have to build five floors. Okay. We're building five-story hotels. We start with $250. In this game, you're only playing with $50 and $100 bills, FYI. Ching, ching. We get five cards I guess they're four-star hotels. <laughs> oh. All right, we get five cards to start, and then on your turn, you take two extra cards. Oh, did you, 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 yeah. me, oh, but you, can, did you, you stack take, the deck? Did you, you stack the deck? You can take two extra cards from the deck to start your turn. Okay. And then you can play up to three cards, up to three moves. So say, look, I don't want to look at your cards, but like if you have a room card, you could play that in your hotel. If you had a bill, you could put that in my hotel. Okay, so I have the pirate ship room. Ooh. So I can put that into my hotel? Yes. Okay. And then you can still do uh, two other moves if you want. Oh, I can do what two other moves. Well, can I can I can build. Room? Yes, so that so, means that you can build another piece, but you have to pay for it. Uh, so if you're building a second floor, it's two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. All right. Okay, and then I get rid of my card, and then I'm going to turn this into the jungle room. Sweet. Okay, it's your turn now. Okay, uh, I'm going to build, and I'm going to pay two hundred dollars over here. We only got fifty dollars left. Boom, we can't. Boom, boom. We can't even buy a drink you, at you most of the hotels. Um, here's what's fun about the build cards on the other side. It says rent. So if you get another one of these, and then you can play that, and you add up the rent on all rooms in your hotel, and the bank gives you that money. 
What? So keep those. Those are very important. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna put a celeb. Uh, I'm gonna play a room here. This is the dirty laundry room. <clears throat> put that on the bottom floor. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a celebrity in that room. What, yeah, is, what yeah. happens when you put a celebrity in the room? The celebrity prevents anyone from billing you if the celebrity is in there. Wow. <laughs> so they take all the crystal out of, of the course. out of the out of, of the, the mini bar and they do it to it. <laughs> So then now, yes. now okay. I'm gonna rent. But I'm gonna start my turn, right? Okay. So, because I can, I have two. Add the rent on all the rooms in your hotel, so which is four hundred dollars. So, so play continues. Yeah. Now, but there's also other things because what game would be a good game if it didn't have what we call the mm, you factor? Of course. Um, no deal. Stop arrival at any time. And. I thief, I can steal $100 from you. That's right. I don't have $100. Have $100. So you wouldn't want to steal that. I, I also have a recycle card where you can pick up any card from the discard pile. Pretty sweet. Any card. So it's, I mean, it's it's not, this is not really Monopoly. It's, no. re, it's really kind of a glorified Uno game. We, we talked about yes. it as a, as a yes. kind of a glorified Uno game where you're trying to get rid of your cards and build your hotels. But it's actually kind of fun. It's, yeah. it's a little bit of strategy, simple strategy. It's about, what, 15 bucks? Yes. And for eight and up. So by the time you're built, it looks all the way like this when you're Beautiful. all done. When you're all done. And so you be, you would be the winner. So That's right. Again, I win. Uh, I win. <laughs> uh, again, just sort of a fun variation on a game. And just the Monopoly is sort of there because it's building and money and right. hotels and right. stuff like that. So, All right. So let's give some stuff away. All right. Ooh, Ooh, Lori just reviewed this. It's the seven foot Br'er Rabbit Jump Rope. This right. is gonna be in our spring toys now. Yes, it is. This is for, you're five four? Yes. You're a little tall for this. I know. You're a little tall for this, so up to about five feet, but it's really colorful and really fun, so we're gonna give that away. We also have a fun game, Headband. Okay, probably one of the best, most popular games yes. out there right now, and uh, yeah, it was. it's really cool. And, and we've yeah. got... Regular Monopoly. Regular Monopoly. <laughs> It's Spanish. In Spanish? Is it in Spanish? It's in Spanish. Whoa! <laughs> wow, wow. Manablea.com. El juego no termina aquí. Termina aquí. I don't know what that means. The game, game doesn't finish here. The game ends here. Oh, thank no you. Terminal. No terminal. No terminal. No terminal. Oh. The game doesn't end here. Oh. Is that what we're giving away? That's what we're giving away. All right. Two games and jump rope. So. Indoor and outdoor, rainy day, headbands, definitely awesome game for the entire family, and uh, learn Spanish. It's por, por la familia. Okay, how do they win? Go to timetoplaymag.com and click on the play date, where you'll find all the rules to enter, and it is free to enter, so you have until midnight Eastern time on Wednesday, March 27th. So thanks for coming by and playing with us today. We'll have more great stuff next week. Yeah. Uh, and come visit us anytime at timetoplaymag.com, your number one source. For all things 